Right, so I'm, uh, I'm standing here with Dylan. Uh, Dylan, we've just saw Warsaw 3, Bradford 3 after being 3-0 down. Talk me through the game and, uh, and your thoughts on that. I think it's a poor first half. Um, shouldn't be 3-0 down. I understand that Bradford are one of the tougher teams in the division. Um, but to be 3-0 down was shocking. The defending was poor, uh, which is hard to say because we've been defensively fantastic all season. But um, I don't know what it is. We always seem to perform better when we come out after half-time. Um, and I think that's something that's got to change. We've got to be able to play like that for 90 minutes. We can't um, we can't go into half-time and then come out a completely different team. But I will praise the lads to come back from 3-0 down against a side like Bradford and draw 3-3 was quite remarkable. And uh, before the game, would you have taken a draw or were you, were you looking for the three points? Obviously, I'm after the, th- uh, the three points, but Bradford are one of the tougher teams. I mean, they, they made the playoff final last season. Um, so I would have definitely taken the draw, yeah. OK, and uh, going back to the players on the pitch, um, standout performance today, Any, anybody that caught your eye in particular? Tyler Roberts was fantastic when he came on. I feel like he's the striker we've been looking for, but once again, it was Nicky Devlin. He On that wing, he's just fantastic. He pushes forward, gets the ball into the box, and um, I, just, I just love his attitude. I mean, when their player went down, he was arguing with the ref to get him off the pitch. He's got the, he's got the right attitude for the club, and um, he, he's performing week in, week out. Uh, and is he the type of guy that you'd have a power strike on your bedroom wall yet? or He says, I already haven't. <laughs> Fair enough. And was there anybody today that uh, didn't catch your eye, so to speak? So any any poor performers? Um, it's hard to remember after that comeback, but I, I wasn't too impressed with Chambers, actually. Um, I don't think he performed as well as he normally does. But Chambers got man of the match from the, the sponsors, so, uh, so go on, talk us, talk us through that. That's the sponsors, though, not me. I mean, from what I saw, um, I, I didn't rate him today, no. no. Any particular reason? I... I I feel like sometimes he can hold the ball up in midfield. Uh, when we're trying to push forward, he, he pulls it back a bit. And um, I, I just don't feel that's something that we need in the in the team at the minute. OK, and uh, going on to your old friend Bakayoko. Uh, missed a couple of uh, chances again and managed to bag one three minutes from the end. So uh, talk to me about his performance today specifically. I don't think he had a great game. I, I'm absolutely chuffed he scored. Um, I, I'm hoping it's going to be a change in form for him. But... I mean, he didn't have a fantastic game and the fans around us were obviously showing that, um, shouting, but I, I really do hope that that goal does change his form. OK, and uh, predictions from the, for the season based on the uh, the start that we've had so far? What do, you, uh, what do you expect or what do you want? What I want is promotion, but it's not going to happen. But going into the season, I would have predicted relegation, absolutely, but um, or to be close to, but... You know what, I think if we keep playing the way that we're playing, I think it will be mid-table. And uh, finally, are you giving credit to uh, to John today, or do you still want him out? I still want him out, but I think he deserves credit when it's um, deserved. OK, well that's uh, a well done John from Dylan, and uh, thanks for your time.